Badness no pay, I miss a badness no pay, eh? Badness no pay, I miss a badness no pay, cause I dirt the police, the maga dirt you. Miss a dirt the police, the maga dirt you. And if them not dirt, then the maga hurt you. I make your mother a fi pants and shirt you. I make your mother a fi coffin and earth you. I make your mother a hey. <laughs> Hey, listen up. Badness no pay. I'm in say badness no pay. Hey, listen. Welcome back to Soul Flow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most boy. Some of them stories here, you can't really make them up still, you know. Jano Star. And no matter how we try to reach some people, they still go down the wrong path. I've come to the conclusion that certain people just have to go down the wrong path. That's just it. Everybody has to play their role in creation. Bad after bad, good after good. And that's just the way that it's going to go. Sometimes bad turn good because they were misled. And then sometimes bad just born bad and gone bad. And I saw it go. You know, we have to just accept people where they are at, are at in life and what destiny has in store for them. Here's one particular brother now. This man, wanted man, and he was wanted, I believe he was wanted for actually taking the life of his ex-girlfriend's new man. I remember when the police was looking for him, they put out a whole article that said that his ex-girlfriend and her new man were walking out a road, you know. She find a new man, she's moved along, and she's doing all right in life. And here he came. He couldn't take it. So I make sure say, he eliminated the new man. Matter of fact, this is a point of argument where we can actually reach out to men who are dating, looking for women to date. Some of them women here have dated some very dangerous men. And those dangerous men are still around as stalkers of some sense. In many of the instances, she still has him on the back burner as a possibility to return to. Or somebody she just cannot let go of completely. So she will harbor him in some way. Those late night texts, those midday texts and delete while she's sitting right next to you on the couch watching TV. All them kind of something that she don't have to necessarily be sleeping with him. It's him lurking on social media under all her pictures, hitting a thumbs up or hitting the heart. You know what I'm saying? He is somewhere out there and she is still seeking his validation and still in some way entertaining his energy, which makes him feel like, there's a possibility for him to get back in her life. Now remember, is a mad, mad smuddy that him don't want to see her with anybody else. So comes the time when he might become somebody like Devil Man. This particular guy we're talking about, this man wanted, he was cut down in a blazing gunfight between members of the island security forces on Saturday which is the Jamaica Defense Force or Jamaica Constabulary Force. And he had faked his death months before the encounter with the lawmen. He knew he was wanted, didn't want to turn himself into police. So he figured he was smarter than the rest. If he put together a whole mourning, a whole funeral procession, then the law would get off his back and stop looking for him because they would assume, okay, see the devil man dead and buried and gone, right? So we don't have to worry about him. Well, police said that the man that was identified as Peter Davis, otherwise called devil man, he had even organized a wake to have people come out to mourn. A wake, for some of you who are new school, is what old school call... Uh, nine night so he organized a nine night then a morning a, a wake and for people to come out and mourn the gunman went as far as asking persons to wear buttons with his photo on these buttons with the words r.i.p rest in peace return if possible engraved on the items the police said on their local social media page is not me making this up but all of those plans turned upside down when the man who was named as the JCF wanted Wednesday earlier this year was one of 
two men who were fatally shot during a joint police military operation. Police superior intelligence led to the discovery of his hideout location and the subsequent operation that was aimed at capturing him. I don't know what else to tell these brothers. You want to be bad man? If you ever see how some gunman have to go live a bush, you and your rifle hug up a bush. Sometimes it get cold in the bush there in the night time. And you are alone out there in the bush. Mosquitoes singing at your ears like Mary Salmon on stage. Yeah? And some of them mosquitoes here, big enough, them look like them can lift you up out of the bush and carry you go deliver you to law enforcement. So it's the next fight that you have to fight to not be delivered. <laughs> Listen, hey man, I don't know why some people choose this type of life. But, you know, we try to tell people so they can save themselves from the drama. All this energy that you're now going to have to put into trying to evade law enforcement. You know better you did just see my yourself, man. Then you wouldn't have to worry about all that. But, like I said before, some people, that's just how it goes. In their minds, bodies thing walking. Everybody is the bodies thing walking until soldier and police come. I'm going to say it again. Everybody is the baddest thing walking until soldier and police come. Let devil man's life be an example to you to not choose badness. See? Not only that, you know, the man named devil man. Why someone want to take on these names? Devil man? My God. So, I held him gone now then. Because, see there, law enforcement officials corner him up and corn him up and now he is no more. My brothers, you're not tougher than steel. And right now, them have some bullet to even bore through steel. You're not the toughest thing walking. You're a human being just like everybody else, yes? So sometimes don't let your ego lead you to a place where you cannot bring yourself back from. Don't let friend and company carry you go over so. And you can bring yourself come back over ya so. Life gets treacherous. Pray for guidance. Pray that the Most High guide your steps. And move Toward productivity and progress, man. I know it sounds like some old granny person that talked to you. But the elders, them, wasn't telling us nothing that's wrong. They wanted the best for us. Them live long enough to see trouble. You remember when time granny used to say, Trouble not set up like rain, you know. Trouble not set up like rain. And when it falls, it pours. I wish devil man all the best on his journey, wherever he may end up. I know Peter Davises, who those around him who are really, really close to him might know and remember not this devil man character that he had created and others had come to know him by, but apparently he lived up to the name devil man and the rest came to fruition. May God go with him soul. I'm not God. I'm not judging. I'm just saying the most we can do now is use this as an example of what to make sure does not happen to us or our children. I think we've been down this road before, you know, because statistics shows that once you have been placed on the most wanted list in Jamaica, your life is coming to an end sometime soon, sometime soon. Unless you turn yourself in. Don't take my word for it. Go and look up everybody that has appeared on the wanted list in Jamaica. They are usually deceased within a year or so following. So it's easy to say. Once your name show up on the list there, you're soon dead. Alright? Now, if that's not a deterrent for you, then I don't know what else to tell you. Now... The article that was printed on this in Jamaica Observer says that one of St. Catherine's most wanted men who police said previously faked his death 
and organize his own wake to throw the police off his trail was cut down along with his cousin by a joint police military team who went in search of them in Linstead Saturday morning. So his family business badness. Two police constables were also injured in that incident. Police said that the wanted man, Peter Davis, who is also known as Devilman, he was said to be responsible for multiple murders in the Linstead and Bogwalk areas of St. Catherine. Now, I only knew about the one incident where he was accused of taking the life of one of his girlfriend's ex-man, or new man rather, because he was the ex, so is his ex-girlfriend. I didn't know that he was wanted for multiple murders. This is according to the Jamaica Constabulary Force, not according to me. Now, Devil was named on the Jamaica Constabulary Force Wanted Wednesday program earlier this year. And instead of turning himself in, he faked his death and organized a wake to have others mourn in his passing, the police said in a statement. This includes asking persons to wear buttons with his photograph on them like we said before with the words R.I.P. engraved on them. Then who got print up all them buttons there and them t-shirt there and them something there for the fake wake. All this effort put into saving yourself at the end. Man, listen. So badness really not pay, man. Police superior intelligence led to the discovery of his hideout location where they went in aiming to capture him. The police report that on the morning of July 20th, a joint police military operation led by a team of JCF, Jamaica Constabulary Force Specialized Operations, was deployed to West Prospect in Linstead. This mission was to locate and apprehend the men who were believed to be hiding in the vicinity of Cashel Walk. The police said that during the course of the operation, criminals fired gunshots at their team. During the exchange of the gunshots, the two men were shot and killed. Them shoot after police, police shoot back after them. Police is trained to shoot, move, and communicate. Law enforcement specialists, especially the special teams and also soldiers, they shoot, move, and communicate. If you don't know what that is, then I suggest as a regular civilian, you do not shoot at them or try to engage them in any gun battle. More than likely, you will lose. When the shooting subsided, the police recovered two Taurus 9mm pistols, a firearm accessory, and a quantity of ammunition from the deceased. The police explained that the mission was to apprehend Devilman, or Davis, and his cousin, Tavaji Benjamin, who was only 27 years old. His alias was Benji, who was a person of interest in other related murder. They were involved in the recent killing of David Archer, alias Didifras, a section leader of one, the One Order Gang on July 14th, 2024, the police said. The trio, once friends and gang members, experienced a falling out, leading to Archer's murder. Davis and Benjamin have been implicated in at least three other murders, according to their intelligence. Friend, friend, friend. The police said that the injured officers were immediately taken to the hospital where one was admitted in serious but stable condition while the others were treated and released. The high command extends their heartfelt wishes for a swift and complete recovery to the two constables. Our thoughts and our prayers are with them and their families during this challenging time their remarkable courage and dedication while protecting and serving the citizens of Jamaica has not gone unnoticed. Their actions alongside those of their fellow officers reflect the highest standard of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Both the Independent Commission of Investigation and Inspectorate and Professional Standards Oversight Bureau were notified in the incident. Why? What more can we say, eh? The dash for your life. I said it this morning earlier on a live video that we did on the channel. 
you know say me respect criminal yeah me respect gunman me respect badman me respect who do criminal activities for a living but under what condition and that is under the condition that they admit that they know the consequences that comes with their actions and that they are willing to face those consequences so you see when police hold you me no one bother here no oh the system set up a way and them a try frame me up dog no go and go do your time because you know what your crime came with right you see when them dirt you me no one bother here your people them a ball too much about you because you were grown intelligent and conscious in your decision to pick up certain things Young youths out here, please remember this, right? A whole heap of real bad man out here try stop being bad. Badness is not something to be glorifying because a lot of people end up in a badness because of life situations. Put them in situations and situations lead to situations. You know what I'm saying? And they're trying their best to get out. So I don't know why you trying your best to get in when you have other avenues that you can choose. Professor says, great job, squaddy. I am sure that he has his very hot studio in hell obviously he's not a very smart fellow at all too much tiktok man maud cooper said he thought he was so smart to fake his own debt and would become immortal live forever huh without anyone noticing one can only imagine his surprise when he realized that fake has caught up with him and now face to face with his mortality another person ai smallin says faking your debt to create more havoc and to avoid brought to justice shows just how far these society misfits will go those who are wearing these rip buttons they should be charged for aiding and abetting these criminals as well and i agree speedy recovery to the lawmen Emerge says both JLP and PMP government have failed our youths, resulting in many of them turning to criminal activities. That is something I don't buy. Big foolishness. We can't blame government for everything. Yes, government is short-sighted and government lacks a lot of stuff that government is supposed to be doing but not doing. But at the same time, you have to go and know how to hold it. And you have to go and know how to make better choices for your life. So don't bother come take up this badness thing and then when police lick you down, you talk about the government has failed. Your parents have failed you. Your community probably have failed you. Especially the people who surround you, who encourage you in your poor choices. They have failed you. You have failed yourself. Government last panelista, right? So this whole attitude of woe is me, and blame everybody else but me this big old self-pity party that a lot of people keep throwing i don't subscribe to those self-pity parties sad to say now patricia says why waste taxpayers money with indicom good job officers no time for the foolishness says the police needs to do more for this goes after every gangs and dons you cannot have communities where these people are shooting and killing people and then they go back to these same communities to live. The police must never let or ease up on these wanted men, gangs, dons or any other people like this who pops up. The country is fed up man of this gun culture for some time now too and we must make sure that they're we're stopping the American made guns from coming here and creating these problems for us and when the police goes onto these missions they must have a plan for one or two ambulances on standby hmm. the people them tired at it holy perv says so i'm really dead now first man me first man for have a funeral and a week before him even dead <laughs> boy sometimes we have to take serious thing make jokes still but a sudden cookie crumble. Be good. Stay away from badness. Cause badness no pay. I may say badness no pay. Eh? Badness no pay. You may say badness no pay. I no joke thing. It really don't pay. I'll catch you on the next video. It's SoFlow TV. I'm out. Peace.